is in the house and he has everything that's trending out there. Brian, what's going on? All right, good morning to you, Jeff Koenange. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what is trending. But today we're taking a different turn a bit and not concentrating on the artists, mm -hmm. not concentrating on uh, people who make news in the entertainment scene, but rather the young politicians who Jeff Koenange hosted earlier, some who did not manage to come to the studio. And one of them is uh, musician Ken Maria. Mm. And Ken Maria says that he has opted to run for my two-word MCA position on, Wai on Waipa ticket because he has no sufficient funds to run for the position of president. He says he had contemplated running for the position of president but has no 20 billion to splash on campaign. Mm. Uh, for, uh, he has no 20 billion to com splash on the campaign trail. Let's take a listen in and happen to talk to him on phone. I feel that if I run for president in this election, 2017, the only man who can beat me is Raila. Because of two reasons. He's a Democrat, a true Democrat. And number two, he has suffered enough for democracy. Uh, if uh, I push on the youth button on a serious note, I lobby in the universities, I lobby in the colleges, I lobby in the um, targets, I can still beat him also. But the concern is the budget. To win a presidential election in Kenya, uh, logistics, uh, strategy, and implementation needs around. Uh, 30 billion, 30 billion. I do not have that money. The least I can do is to get in the county assembly in Machako. Uh, that way, uh, through my knowledge, through my experience, I can, I can advise the governor. At least if we get a governor who can listen. All right, Jeff. Do you think General Maria has what it takes to beat Raila Amolo Odinga and President Uru Kenyatta? You know what, Brian? I've been in politics for the last oh. 15 years. Jeff, do you think he has what it takes to beat Raila Amolo Dinga and uh, President Uru Kenyat? Brian, to be honest, I didn't even know Ken Wamaria was running. <laughs> now you know. All right, shed thrown right there by Mr. Jeff Kwananga himself. And still on Martin's money, Yes. we are asking, is Steve Mbogo the money bags of young politicians? This, he says that he won't rely on ODM, <laughs> ODM party fundings to uh, bankroll his campaigns but rather he has his own personal businesses which he says will uh, bankroll his campaigns for Starehe parliamentary seat. Let's take a listen in to what he exactly said, his source of wealth and he does not rely on ODM whatsoever. The Bible, even Jesus fed people, and the next day they crucified him and mm. called him a bad person. Mm. You'll never satisfy the world. Mm. Uh, being a businessman, I told you I started business at the age of 16. Mm. I engaged in spread business. Right. I was among the first Kenyan to start commodity trading from China. Mm. I was the first person to bring in the twin thin Chinese phones in Kenya. Mm. I was among the first people to bring in motorbikes in Kenyan industry. Mm. Till today, I'm in the commodity industry. I've expanded my businesses to mining and also development and real estate. Uh, my other businesses also have mm -hmm. grown because of the empowerment program which I started. Mm -hmm. Right now I own shares in more than other 40 companies mm -hmm. where young people bring ideas, I finance and I mm -hmm. become a shareholder. Alright, that is where Steve Bogo says he will get his money for campaign. Brian, I have to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Kindly, kindly do. The same race that Steve Bogo is running, mm -hmm. Boniface Mwangi is raising 10 shillings per person in the streets. Yes. He just crossed the one million shilling mark. Brian, mm. can he compete with the likes of Steve Mbogo? All right. I asked Steve Mbogo the same question that uh, what does he think about uh, competition from uh, Bonfest Mwangi and Jaguar? And he had this to say. He told me that Bonfest Mwangi is just a Hitler. Those are his words, not my words, but that Bonifaz Mwangi is just a heckler who has nothing to offer Starehe uh, constituents. Mm -hmm. And I asked him about Jaguar. He has the financial might and also the connections. Will you beat Jaguar, Steve Mboga? And he said he'll beat Jaguar by 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so uh, Bonifaz Mwangi has resorted to reaching out to Kenyans to uh, raise money for his campaign, which ahead of the uh, August 8th general election which currently has raised well over 1 million Kenyan shillings and is still going on and talking of Bonfest Mwangi 
the Starre MP candidate now says that top of his agenda in Starre constituency if elected as MP is protecting the, uh, protecting the constituents from harassment by city council Ascaris and he believes that it is the local traders and small scale traders who will actually propel him to the seat of Starehe MP. Let's take a listen in to an audio of a conversation I had with him just uh, a few minutes before I came here. One of the biggest problems in Starehe is that there's a lot of uh, police and county Ascari harassment. So most of my people who are going to vote for me are informal traders and there must be laws and regulations to protect them. Uh, and then when I get into parliament, apart from the law to protect small traders, we're, gonna, we're going to pass a law to force, to ensure that, not even force, but to compel, or legally compel, uh, can you to wear uniform. One of the reasons why I get, people get hard up and stabbing in Sare by Kanju is because they, they don't even wear a uniform. I think informal sector is a dangerous activity. So no way, and there's no legal reason why Kanju should not wear a uniform. All right, that is top of the agenda mm. <laughs> for uh, Starehe constituents by Boniface Mwangi. He says that the city council was carried in this case, he calls them Kanjo, mm. must wear uniform because they only thrive in harassing people because they're not uniformed. Jeff, what do you think of that top agenda by Boniface Mwangi? Is it the most biting need by Starehe constituents? Uh, hey, look, Boniface is on the ground every day and uh, you have to applaud him for it and this guy's determined to change the whole dynamics of everything so you have to applaud him raising 10 shillings he's reached them this is the future man i mean i don't know if it's going to work i don't know if his priorities are in the right place but uh, he's going to give bogo and jaguar a run for their money brian i think i asked him if he lose to either jaguar or and he was so much a bit and optimistic that uh, failure is not his portion, mm -hmm. that he will carry the day come August 8th. All right, yes. Brian Acosta there with this from Citizen Digital with all that's trending in the world of digital media. Thanks so much, Brian. Please.